wondering I went back to stage one so I could get the stopwatch since that's the only sub weapon that Alucard can use in this game and I just decided it would be very nice to use it against those owls for being in the way for every single one of my other runs on this channel as I have way too many runs don't worry this is the last time you'll see them but anyway I give this level a 2 out of 10 I mean he gets to skip the owls he gets to, he gets to skip the entire upper path of the stairs and just fly completely skip that room and even if the birds are random he can just transform into the bat and during the transformation he's invincible so there's no problems there at all the only reason i give it an extra point from every other character in this game is simply because of the cyclops the boss we fight at the end um in the u.s version as we're playing right here, he slams his hammer down for a much shorter period of time, meaning that I can't really get as many hits. I can, I pretty much have to alternate. I have to hit him twice on one pass and once on the other pass because he can get pretty close to you. Not to mention that Grant strategy, even if he had the throwing daggers on, you can't use that strategy there because he will walk wherever the hell he wants here. So... Yeah, 2 out of 10, mainly for Cyclops being a jerk in this game. So, in the next level, we are leaving Castlevania 3, and we are going back to Akuma Jodensetsu. And this is going to be an awful level, the haunted ship. It's not going to be fun. See what happens. Ugh. Stay tuned, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> 